Alright, hey guys, this is John here, and I'm here with a game called The King of the Wood. This is, um, well, this is Call of Duty. No, it's not. Um, this, I don't know what it is, to tell you the truth. Um, yeah, I really don't know. I found it, and we're gonna play it, and, uh, see how it goes. So I think we play. Yay, but let's get playing. Uh, I kind of played, like, the first few seconds. Not even, maybe, beats me. So I know kind of what I'm doing here, to a point. Alright, get on my uh, computer here, go on to YouTube. Alright, now type in American Auto, okay, hit subscribe, and we're good. And if you haven't yet, you should hit that like button too. So this must be my office. All those gorgeous cars out there, those cubicle cars, yeah. Okay. Ooh, a gun. Alright, uh, I'll do that later. Listen to the music. It's gorgeous. Who's there? Reload! Quick! No, no, I don't want any! I don't want any. You think he's dead? Alright, let's find out. Reload. It's kind of loud. I'll turn it down when I'm editing it. Read this, okay. RE sideboard number 0014180. Dear sir, our investigation has tracked down 0014180 to a small mansion on the outskirts of the city of Eugene, Washington. Is that a real place? I don't know. The cyborg has assumed the identity of Donald Anderson and has been living in his residence for the past six months. Due to the proximity to your office, we wish to contract you. Oh yeah, okay. For the retirement of the unlicensed cyborg. This is a low risk mission, but we do advise you to, to take general precautions. Sincerely, John R. Sepulveda. So, uh, apparently I sent myself a letter, it's not my name, but it's me. Wait, hold on, we gotta turn out, turn out, turn out the lights, I'm not used to sensitivity. And, uh, let's go. This is my jam. I gotta say, the music's pretty good for this game, though. Those cubicle trees and that octagonal wheel, yeah. Even the graphics are amazing. I must say. So yeah, I got to about this part and I'm like, yeah, let's play it, sure. So I have no idea what I'm doing after this. So this is kind of blind now. Alright, there we go. Hopefully you don't see fraps at the top left of the screen when I was trying to see how well I could record it earlier. Fraps was going haywire with it, so we'll just hope. That hand. Did, did I see a hand there before? Okay. So we have a keypad. Uh, we have a lock gate. Uh, a camera, it looks like. Is that a camera? Does it follow me? Yep, that's a camera. And I guess Donald. Is it Donald? We're going to call him Donald. I think Don is in there. So. Uh, we could try, try and press random numbers. Okay, that's not working. What else can we do? Well, we got the gun, we can do... That. Did it do anything? Can I get in there? No. Alright. Well, uh, you know, gotta look for a secret passage then. Because all these special high security places always have special things. You know, special entrances. Oh, I see power lines or phone wires. I'm gonna say the power lines and phone wires, and uh, it looks like they go to the house. So, can I like break this down? Oh my god, I just glitched right through it. Uh, what can I do? Shoot this? Oh, I forget. I have to God, that is loud. Turn down that volume. Okay, that's better. Alright, um... Can't just shoot the house and hope that that works. This wall is really dark for some reason. Oops, just hit the mic. 
no problem. I don't see anything so far. I really just don't see anything. This is really weird. What do I do? Check the mailbox. One in doubt. That car. Yeah. Drag racing, man. This that's my car. Archon wheels. In a world where circles don't exist. Oh, I found something. Good. Cool, cool. What is it? To whom it may concern, I know who you are. And I know why what you're here. What you I know what you're here oh, to do. All I can ask is for you to get back in your car and go home. But I won't try to stop you. The code to the gate is 0415. What? 0451. Okay, there we go. Found it. I knew that had something to do with it. I really didn't. 0... 5... Oh god. 0... 5... 4... 1... 0... 5... 1... 4... What was... Wow. Okay. Um... Uh, memory, why do you fail me when I need you to not? Zero four one five or zero four five one. Gee, I'm not even dyslexic. That's the thing. Uh, zero four five one. Got it. All right, now I'm kind of scared that something's gonna happen. Nice little fountain statue. Okay, here we are, we're inside. Good, 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 good. I am still scared though. What is H? Yes, H. I've literally never played this game up to the point where you leave your office, so I have no idea what's going on. Uh, what's this? The Candle Bearers Lucy Mortlock. Oh, The Candle Bearers by Lucy Mortlock. Drove down from Lily's... from Lily? Drove down from the place in the van to pick them up, and when they came back, they were full of stories. Could anyone guess what old Monsieur Arnaud was doing now? And as for Madame Laverne, who do you think she married? Above all, they were desperate to tell the papa of, their, of all their adventures, but when they burst in through the door in a great buzz of chatter, he was not there to greet them. Nor was he in his study, nor the library, nor the kitchen. He must be tending to the plants in the greenhouse, said Edith, and they all dashed outside to look. But there was no sign of him in the glass house either. They were beginning to worry when they spotted the hole in the glass, perfectly circular. Well, th obviously this story is not true because circles do not exist in this world, you know what I mean? Hello? I wish there was like a lean option. Oh my god. Oh my god! What are you? What the heck? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. What did that do? Where am I? What the heck? What? What? That... that's very weird. I can't get out. Reload. So apparently my aim is absolutely horrible. I'm scared still. What's this? Can I take this? E. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, never. No, shouldn't have done that. Oh god. Oh goodness me. What's this? Uh, duh. dead, dead before daybreak by Jack Sands. He thumbed back the hammer and felt the comforting heft of the weapon in his hand. The Algerian wouldn't thank him for this, but it had to be done. As soon as the door opened, he stepped forward and kicked his shut with his foot. REACH! he barked. The dame dropped the little bag she was carrying and threw off her arms with a gasp. Mid-thirties, key blue dress. Definitely not the goon he'd be been expecting. 
Relaxed, he said. Pocket in peace. I guess so, I thought you were someone else. You do a lot of guessing, she said. You do a lot of guessing, she said, picking up the bag and checking her hair. Composure. You like that in a bra. Ooh, spicy. I'm sorry if you can hear my chair in the background. It's kind of squeaky. I'm going to see about trying to get that fixed. Hopefully I can. I like the little piano in the background. Now I want to turn my volume back up. Yeah, piano. Wait, 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 wait. If there's piano, someone must be playing it. Hello? Oh my god! No, not what I was... Okay, did it just reset, reset me then? Yeah, it did, okay. That scares the crap out of me, my god. Stop doing that. Alright, I'm gonna turn down the sensitivity. No, leave me alone! Stop it! It's like, uh, I'm not used to the sensitivity or gameplay on a computer to tell you the absolute truth. Oh god, I guess I should move too, shouldn't I? I got this. I'm ready. I missed. I, ha I feel like I have to go there, so I'm going to. Really, because I feel like I'm going to need like all 20 off, so. I wonder if I can play again. Got it! Pro. One to like four. Oh yeah. As I kill it and not go back to lasers. Classy. Come on, go back down the stairs. Now what's back here that he's protecting? Ha! I feel like it's the laser panel box. E. Turns out the lights. Flashlight! I knew it had to be something he was protecting. I think now he turned up my sensitivity to tell you the absolute truth. Yep. Now I turned it down. Yeah! Cool. It's a power switch. Let's look in here then. Cracked glass TV. LED, probably, give or take, maybe. I don't know. It's probably LED, you know, nowadays. Ooh, what's this? A key? Okay. Toilet paper, that's always necessary for life. Good, good. At least he's stocked up for the apocalypse. He's got his bathtub. Tooth. Oh, it's the bathroom. Why does he. Why does he have TVs in the bathroom? Okay, brush my teeth. More toilet paper? He's just prepared. Can I use the toilet? No? That's a weird looking toilet. Uh, where now? Keep going, I guess. Still scared. Yep, I knew I should have been. I feel like... Can I snipe it? Snipe. Yeah, I'm getting good at this. I do like the, uh... The only circles in this game, it seems like, are the shells, the shell casings. Pretty cool, and also the bullet holes. Then again, who needs that? Oh my god! You're fast! Why are you so fast? Do you enemies stay dead? And do, yeah, power stays off. Good. Go back upstairs. That scared the crap out of me. Do enemies stay dead? Yep. Alright, so there's one down in this hall, that means I'm gonna turn my flashlight off and see if that does anything at all. Yeah, oh my god, that was close. Hey, hey, hey. E. Can I shoot the lock down? Nope. Reload. I always reload. It's a good thing there's unlimited ammo. Oh, here's another door. Same room. Really? I thought you weren't gonna try and stop me, bro. Oh, what was that? I heard a clicking in my... No? Alright, so there's gotta be another way in, that means... What about this? Uh, where the lasers are. What about this painting? This painting looks strangely, like... 
a door into secret room. Can I go down here? No, I don't think I want to anyway. Does it have to do with the bathroom? Do I, can I go in the drain of the sink? That's not a sink. That would be a massive sink. Can I go in this... Wait a minute. Where's the faucet for this bathtub? Weird. What was that? Oh, it looks like a secret panel or something. I don't know. Now I'm just getting hopeful. I have no idea where to go now. Can I open? No. Is there something I can get in using the top? Dead end here, but I can't get in. Wait, I have a key. How do I use the key? I have a key. Let me use it. Is there like. Can I use the number pad? Can I use. I have a key! Use the key! Where's the key go to? Is there more rooms? Wait, there's a whole other side that I didn't go to, so maybe... It's down here. I think the key goes to here. Ah! I was right. Alright, so... It's probably another security bot. It's gotta be another security bot. Uh, scaring. Don't jump scare me, please. Oh? Oh? Okay, move as far back as I can. Can I get on the bed? Uh, guess not. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, it didn't even attack me. That's fine with me. What's this? Button? Uh, what did it do? What did it do? I don't know. Oh, another book. Always gotta read books. Let's see, this is, um, Black Saturday by Lee Williams. Dreamed he saw the warlock rising up through the lake from the fathoms of down. His hair and beard clotted with weed, clutching in his hands the last page from which the words lifted like black smoke. Jack swam awoke with the fish in the stomach. You were dreaming about it. She said, lighting two cigarettes and passing one to him, pushing the hair back from his head, from her face. He nodded, took the cigarette, pulled deep and coughed a little. He won't let me be, he said, his voice cracking slightly. I can't even sleep anymore. She reached out and ran a nail lightly down his cheek, followed, following the long channel of the sky. He's gone, honey. He's gone. Even if he could. Even if he could what? Wait, am I able to turn pages? No. I guess only excerpts. Anyway, so what did this open? Maybe it opened a room? Maybe it opened a secret thing in the bathroom? Well, it didn't open the toilet. Now, how am I going to poop? No. Is there something in the trash can? No. That's where I would put the key. In the trash can. Oop, excuse me. Um. Nope, didn't open that. Did it open, like, this wall or something? Doesn't look like it. Didn't open anything. What did it open? What the heck? Huh. This is really weird. Didn't open the bathroom. Wait, maybe there's something downstairs? Didn't really... I didn't really check out downstairs too well, so... I'm thinking it might be downstairs. Ooh, a door. Why didn't I go in here? Oh my god, that that's a good reason why I didn't. Alright. Alright, good good. I believe this is only level 1 also, so... I'm not doing too well for level 1. 
Get on the computer, quick, quick. I can toast mainframe. What? I think it's a guy just kind of throwing a ball. Alright. Is this a key? Yes! I shouldn't have done that. Who's this guy? Three... Three... The Brick in Bales. Said that all men will meet the mark maker but once when their days in this world are over. But for Haron Aldin, the Prince of Automata, it was different. Every seven years his wondrous mechanisms lost their force, and so he returned to the Chazron who had built him and who possessed the key that could restore his vigor. Ah! They called him the fourth wonder of the world. We may yet picture him flying home over Baghdad, like a bright star unfastened from the blue evening. The golden armor which was his skin burnished as if a flame. The mirrored face in which kings and jinn had studied their reflections as impassive as ever. We may imagine him alighting in front of his master's hidden cave, placing a sesame seed into a crevice in the rock, waiting for the tick of a tiny mechanism that a great fissure grinds dolefully open to reveal. Reveal what? God, so many cliffhangers. My tooth hurts. Actually, it's my gum, but that's a different story. Ooh, what's that? Just a ball. Okay. I bet this key unlocks something over there? Or behind? Upstairs. I think it's upstairs. Oh, this is the entrance. Oh. Oh, okay. So. It's clever. Anyway. Continuing, going back upstairs. The left. Straight. Oh, man. I'm hoping this unlocks this. Yes! Is he in here? Why is every mirror cracked? Doesn't look like anybody's in here. Except for a book. In search of the sunken city by Casper Downer. Do I speak? Ah, oh, let's read it. Caught between the pro I quit. I don't even want to read it. Alright, too many reading. I don't know why I keep drinking them, but I'm hoping it gives me something special. Golden Bow Sir James George Fraser. Ha! Button. Wow, if only I knew what that button did. What's this? Another book. So many books, this guy reads too much. I feel like it opened this wall here. Yep, called it. Oh man, this is gonna be bad if I run into any cyborg things. Oh, I knew it! Someone is playing the piano. Why didn't thou just shoot him? I don't want to take the chance, it's not fair. Well, we stop playing, so something tells me he's dead. I'm gonna hope he's dead. Can he be dead? I think he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Alright, mission complete. Let's, let's congratulate ourselves. Oh my god. Moi- Oh. I didn't mean to play that. Wow, I'm a really good piano player when I'm drunk, apparently. A really loud one, too. Wow, that was it? That was the whole game? Wow. That was the whole game. That was... I mean, it's a short game, but it, that seemed pretty good. Alright, uh, I guess that's the end. If I find out later, I mean, I'll probably include that in the video. But for now, see you later, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and all that good stuff that you know what to do. And, uh, can't wait to see you guys again later on on whatever episode of stuff. And I don't know. I need to make up a new ending. Yeah, okay. See you around, guys.